Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create realistic photo product. Ok, let's go. Open your blender. But first, you need to download this product for free. I leave the link download in the description below. After you download it, you can open it. And then, just hide it. Go to the render property. Change it to cycle. Color management, change it to filming and high contrast. We need to add the camera. Press Alt R to reset the rotation and go to the right view. Press R minus 90 degree. Let's move it back and press Shift A mesh to add a new plan. Scale it up. We need to open this new window to see the camera view and change this to the resolution to 1.0 Okay Press select this plan Press R X axis 90 to so rotate, rotate it into 90 degree and move it up, move it to the back, and just add a new cube. Just add a new cube, scale it up like this. Press S to scale and Z to scale it in Z axis. Press G, Z, move it down. And we need to duplicate this one. Press G, X axis, move it like over here. And G, Z, move it down. And duplicate this once again. Press G, A. Press G, Y axis, and I guess we need to reset the scale. Press Alt S, press Tab, go to Edit Mode, select these two vertex, press X, delete vertex, and change it to H Mode, select these two H, press F, select this H. Press F, do the same on the other side and press Ctrl R to add a new, new bootcut over here. Let's move it here. Maybe we need to scale it up. Let's control H to show our product. Move it up. And we need to scale this. So all of this cube. Scale it up. Press G Z. Move your camera. Change this, sorry, this one, snap it to the face. Just press G, Z, hold your control, and snap it to this face. G, X, axis, G, Y, and rotate this, take this. Select your camera, here, constraint, add object constraint, drag to, and select it to the object level. Go to the top view, change it to the 3D cursor, so if you rotate your camera, it will follow the 3D cursor. 
like this we need to move it back yeah I guess it's good change it to individual origin scale it up and back to the 3d cursor go to the top view rotate it so I guess we are done here for the environment but just one thing scale it like this Let's scale it up and press S again press X to scale it down to the X axis press G Y go to the top view just move it like this and this way we need to get more closer I guess okay let's move forward product from a little bit like this I guess rotate it yeah something like this change it to the viewport shading move this up we already have the material for this product so we only need to do the environment in the background click this one and change it to shadow editor write new new material and make it dark I want it a little, a little bit green yeah I guess that's good and so this cube, this cube and this cube press ctrl L and link material next color of the background new just make it black solid black I guess to the render setting press T and let's hide this Press Ctrl D like this, so it's only render what our camera see. Okay, next after we add the materials, we need to do the light. First, go to the word property, change the strain to zero, move it to render view and press shift a plane add a new plane scale it up it's new just delete this principle bsdf and press shift a search emission connect is the surface then press we need to shift a Texture, we are need gradient texture. Connect the color to color, change the linear to vertical sphere, and press Ctrl T. Let's see, change to object to vector. So we have round like this. As you can see, we have our emission changed to the 10, but it shouldn't look like this. First, we need to go to object, move down here, visibility, and uncheck this camera. So we can see our plan, emission plan, to our camera. Press R. X 90 degree 
move it like back here and x g x like this I guess this paper needs to be more here scale it up move it back press g We need to move it. Oh. Yeah, we have something like this. Skill this. Move this over here. Maybe scale this up again. Like this. And I guess this one. I need to increase the roughness so it doesn't reflect the light. Now we have something, we have the light from the back. Let's add another emission or we just duplicated this one. Press go to the top view, press R, 90 degree, move it over here and the material just click here so it will become the new, um, the new material change it to one maybe and maybe five scale this on the y-axis like this Put it a little bit closer. Yeah, I like this one. I guess let's more be more darker. Let's duplicate this one again. Shift D to duplicate. Go to the top view. Move it over here. Let's see. Just click this one, new material. I guess we don't need to create in texture. And change the color to a little bit more dark. We need to rotate our program. Yeah, like this and move this to over here just side nothing just happen Turn down this emission power like two. That's G Y. It need to fix a little bit more. Guess the background increase the roughness. Just like this, and maybe scale this up. Yeah. Press Shift A, search for colorant, put it here, change it to be spline, ok, and for this material we need to turn the roughness, 
next so we get this i guess Alt F to reset the rotation. Alt S scale this and arc 90 degree. Wait, go to the front view, press 5 90 degree, move it over here, just hide this force and this one. We need to add the light over here. GX. G. Y. Yeah. We have the soft reflection over here. We need to change this to 5 this click this for new material okay I like it and let's back bring back this one just scale it down on the Z axis Move it closer. So we have a light here. Just a little bit of reflection. Change it to 15. Yeah. And let's see this one. R, 20 degree. And for this one, I guess we need to change it to 20 or 15. Yeah, let's render it. I guess we are done here. Thank you for watching.